Hello friends, it's Lisa and welcome to a little TBR video. I want to chat about the books I really want to revisit and reread. I love rereading books, especially books that I just love and adore so much. It's so fun to go back and revisit them and be back with those characters and in those worlds and pick up on things that maybe you didn't the first time. But even though I love rereading books, sometimes I find it hard to actually do that because there's a part of me that feels guilty a little bit when I reread books because I know I could be reading something new. <laughs> there are so many new books that I have not read yet that I want to read, so I tend to prioritize those over books that I've read before, but I love revisiting my favorite books and picking up on things I didn't the first time, being back with my favorite characters, so I want to kind of prioritize doing more rereads over the next year or so. Now this TBR is definitely not all books I plan to reread in the next year. I have a lot of books that I want to reread. A lot of these are just books that I would like to reread eventually and over the span of like a few years and just ones that I would definitely like to get to sooner rather than later but definitely not like in the next year because that would just be a lot of rereading <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to sit down and share the books I do want to reread sometime in the near future some you know sooner rather than later but I just thought it'd be fun to chat about all of them with you so let us just hop into the TBR of books I want to reread. So we're gonna start with the book slash series that kind of inspired this whole video because I have been really wanting to reread this series for a while since I read it the first time a few years ago and recent events and announcements have made me want to revisit this series sooner rather than later and that's the Ember in the Ashes series by Saba Tahir. So if you don't know this about me, I love the Ember in the Ashes series so much. It is like one of my all-time favorite series. I feel like there's three series that always come to mind when I think about my favorite series. And this is one of them. Um, I just love it so much and I've been wanting to revisit it and reread it since I read it the first time. But I just, again, like I was saying earlier, like I just don't prioritize rereads because I know that there are new books that I haven't read yet that I could be reading instead. But recent announcements by Miss Saba Tahir is changing that whole plan. <laughs> Saba Tahir is releasing a new book October 1st. I'm counting down the days. I'm so excited. And it's called Air and it is set in the Ember in the Ashes world. It's just taking place 20 years after this series has ended. And that was just the push, the motivation to get me to actually reread this series. I don't need to reread it because I've forgotten things. I definitely remember like a lot about this series because Saba Tahir, she likes to make her readers and her characters go through it. These books are so painful and make me so emotionally distraught and so it's not going to be like the most fun rereading experience because I'm just going to be suffering <laughs> but I do love these characters so much and just like the series as a whole so I'm very excited to get back into it and reread it and I think my plan is to reread a book in the series like every month leading up to the release of Air. So I'll be reading An Ember in the Ashes in June and I just think that that's like the best way for me personally to make sure I actually do get through a reread of the series and make sure I have the time to prioritize that. So yeah, very excited to be back in this world, be back with these characters. Not really ready for the emotional damage I'm gonna go through again with this series but like it's gonna be great and I'm so excited to see how Air is going to emotionally destroy me as well. <laughs> but speaking of those favorite series of mine, this is another one that always like comes to mind when I think one of my favorite series, this is definitely in that top three for me, and that's The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I feel like I never shut up about The Infernal Devices and about Tessa Will and Jem because I just adore them so much. This is the most superior love triangle I have ever read in my entire life, so I just, I, it's just so good. It makes me love a trope that I don't generally enjoy, and this, I feel like, with the rise in popularity of fantasy romance or romanticy or whatever you want to call it. I just feel like this series is like, this was the blueprint. <laughs> this is what I look for in those types of books uh, going forward. I feel like this is like a historical romance that happens to have a little bit of a fantasy and a little bit of those fantastical magical elements, but it really is about the characters and the romance and also another series that very much emotionally destroys me. So I don't know what it is about my favorite series. We don't need to unpack it. <laughs> and I have read the series and reread the series multiple times at this point, but it just feels like it's been so long since my last reread. It really hasn't been that long. I think the last time I reread it was 2022, so it hasn't been that long. But I think this is a series that like I could just constantly be on a loop of reading it and be totally okay. So it feels like it's been a while. I just want to be back with these characters. I do love the Shadowhunter world as a whole, but this series to me, 
I think will just always be like the ultimate Shadowhunter series. It is 100% my favorite and I just I just want to be back with these characters again. You'll notice a trend. I'm a very much like a character driven reader so the main motivation for me wanting to reread a lot of these series is to be back with these characters that I love so much and that's definitely the case with this series so yeah. An Infernal Devices reread will definitely have to happen. I think I may annotate one of my copies because I have two sets of this series because why not? <laughs> so I definitely feel like I need to reread them and annotate them and I think that that would be a really fun experience. And while we're talking about, you know, my favorite series of all time, let's just get it out of the way. The Lunar Chronicles, of course. I'm specifically holding Winter though, which is the fourth and final book in the series. I'm about to lose my voice, <laughs> but this is the fourth and final one in the series. And the reason I'm holding this one up is because I did start a reread of this series years ago. I got up to Cress like a few years ago and then couldn't decide if I wanted to reread Ferris, which is like the novella that you should read between Cress and Winter, which are the third and fourth books, or if I just wanted to skip it and jump right into Winter and I just never made a decision. So I never continued on. I really just wanted to like complete that reread so that I can jump into yet another reread of the Lunar Chronicles. <laughs> I just can't start from the beginning when I know that I haven't completed the current reread. So rereading Winter I think is something that I would like to actually do this year. I feel like all three of these rereads are ones I would like to actually do this year and do soon. So I think rereading Winter is definitely on the agenda for the year and I think eventually I'll just go back to the beginning and start a reread of the Lunar Chronicles over again. I think again that's just going to be a series I'm just like continuously rereading all the time. And like the Infernal Devices, I think I might annotate one of my 50 million copies of this series. I think I might annotate the ones with these covers. Um, I've just like gone back and forth on which copies I want to annotate, but I think I'm going to do these ones and I think that that will be a really fun time. So I want to finish this reread and then start at the beginning and annotate that reread. I just think it'll be really fun. But yeah, obviously I love the Lunar Chronicles. It's like my ultimate comfort series, fairy tale retelling set in like a sci-fi futuristic world. It's just really fun and I just love it so much. So I think it'll be really fun to revisit that series as always. And while we're on the topic of Marissa Meyer, we might as well just discuss the other Marissa Meyer books I want to reread because to be honest, do I just want to reread Marissa Meyer books, all of them, all of the time? Kind of. <laughs> so another Marissa Meyer I'd love to reread is Heartless. So I read this in 2017 for the first time. I read it after reading The Lunar Chronicles for the first time and I just loved it so much even though it was a very emotional reading experience. It's a Alice in Wonderland retelling but it's set from the Queen of Hearts perspective and it's like a prequel to the Alice in Wonderland story that we know. So it's like seeing how the Queen of Hearts became who she was, how she became this like evil person and miserable person and it's just kind of a devastating read. I ugly cried reading this book for the first time and then like a few hours later just started thinking about the book again and started crying again. So like do I want to put myself through that again? I mean I guess I'm mentioning it in this video so I guess I do. <laughs> but yeah I would love to reread this because I never have and in my mind I always say like this is one of my favorite books from Marissa Meyer but I haven't read it since 2017 so I would love to see if that like opinion stands up and just see if it still um, makes me as emotional as it did the first time. <laughs> and finally I would also love to reread the Renegade series by Marissa Meyer. I love this series so much and I think it would be fun to revisit it especially because I've never reread the final book in the series. I reread Renegades and Arch Enemies, which are the first and second books before Supernova, which is the third one, but I've never reread Supernova and I actually remember being like slightly disappointed by Supernova, so I think it would be fun to reread the series as a whole and see if I still feel that way or if it's like an improvement reading the series as a whole like all at the same time kind of thing. I don't know. I just love this series as well. So I think it'd be fun to reread it, especially Arch Enemies. The second book to me is perfection. It is so superior. So I would love to revisit this one as well. All right, moving on. I do promise that I have other books to mention that aren't just by Marissa Meyer. Um, the next one I want to reread, uh, I'd love to revisit the Akatar series. I don't know. I don't know why this is happening. This has just been the mood that I've been in for the past like handful of months. I probably towards the end of 2023, like within the last like few months of the year, I randomly started thinking about the Akatar series. My brain was just like, hey, remember how much you love Cassian? <laughs> and then I just was like, you're so right. And then I just couldn't stop thinking about this series. And then not long after that, a friend texted me like, you've read the Akatar series, right? And I was like, yes. 
and she was reading it for the first time and she was just obsessed with it so we were just like talking about it and then because of that we made my sister read the series so basically there's been some people in my life reading the series for the first time and I had already been like wanting to revisit the series like prior to that so I feel like a reread of the Akatar series might be in my future and like in the near future. <laughs> I do think I'll probably end up just rereading the whole series but I also think it would be fun to just like revisit A Court of Mist and Fury because that is the best book in the series so I like I feel like I will scratch the itch if you will if I just read that one again. <laughs> I also would like to reread A Court of Silver Flames because all the parts with like Cassian and Nesta I did like. I think I would just skip over like anything that had to do with like the actual plot, the plot that really wasn't given any thought by Sarah Janet, um, and also any part with Resand because as much as I love him in A Court of Mist and Fury, I kind of wanted to drop kick him off of a mountain in A Court of Silver Flames, so we'll probably skip over those parts. Just read about Cassian. <laughs> so I might just reread those specific ones, or I might go back and just reread the whole series. We'll just see. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like I need to like scratch an Akatar itch that's been happening the past few months. So I don't know. I don't know why. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm the biggest Sarah J Mass fan, even though I do like this series. But for some reason, I've just been wanting to revisit this one. So perhaps that will happen soon. And then going in the complete opposite end of the spectrum, I'd love to reread Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> but I read Pride and Prejudice for the first time back in 2019. I actually read it during the reading rush back in 2019. So I don't know who she was reading a classic along with like six or seven other books in the span of a week. I don't know her. I am not that same person anymore. I don't think I could do that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I read it then and I obviously just fell in love with it. I love it so much. I feel like this is also one of those books that whenever someone asks like, what's your favorite book? Or what are some of your favorite books? Like Pride and Prejudice is always like one of the first things that comes to mind. So I would love to revisit it, but I also want to read like all of Jane Austen's works. So that's the only reason why I haven't reread it before now, because I feel like I need to read her other books before I reread this. I don't know why. I can reread it before I continue on with her other books, but I don't know. It's just the way my brain works. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need to read other Jane Austen books for the first time, but I definitely would love to revisit this and give it a reread because I do love it so much. And I think also another one that would be fun to annotate as well, especially because I want to get like more editions of Pride and Prejudice because I love this book so much and there are so many beautiful editions of this book. So I think I just want to slowly collect various covers and editions of this book and then one can be one that I annotate. I don't know. We'll see. I say that as if I have all the money in the world to buy various editions of Pride and Prejudice, but it's nice to have dreams, you know? <laughs> all right, next I have another author just generally that I want to do rereads from, and that's Emily Henry. I grabbed Happy Place because I didn't feel like grabbing all of the books that she's written, but I do want to continue rereading all of her books. I reread Beach Read last summer, and it was such a fun time revisiting that book because that one is definitely like one of my favorite Emily Henry's. I think Beach treat and Happy Place are my favorites. So that was really fun to revisit, but I want to continue rereading all of them. So I think next up, I'm going to reread People You Meet on Vacation because that was the next one that was published. I read her books in like publication order. So that's the one I think I'll probably reread next, then Book Lovers, and then Happy Place, which I'm so excited to reread this one because I think this might be my favorite Emily Henry. I don't know. I go back and forth on if it's Beach Read or Happy Place all the time, but I just love Emily Henry's books. I've given all of them like four and five stars. I just think they're so fun. Fun, and they'd be really fun to revisit and also maybe annotate as well. I think I want to get the paperback of Happy Place and maybe annotate that version. Um, and then it will also match my other Emily Henry paperbacks. Why they've started publishing in hardcover, I don't know. It's kind of irritating to me, but I'll get over it. <laughs> and then eventually we'll also be able to add Funny Story to the list of books that I will read for the first time when it comes out in April and then add it to the list of ones I want to reread. I think Emily Henry is just again going to be an author that I'm just like continuously rereading her books because I just love them so much. Even the ones that I don't love as much and maybe were four star reads, I still love. Like they're still so special. Her characters and her writing and her banter, I just love so much. So it's always going to be fun to revisit her books. Another book I would love to revisit is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. I always have to think about that book title because there's a lot of words in that title, but I loved this book. I read it when it came out, I think, around the time it came out back in 2022. 
I think time is fake. I'm trying to remember dates and for no reason. No one really cares about when I read these books for the first time, but I read it, loved it, and I want to revisit it, especially because this author is coming out with a new book that seems to have a very similar vibe to this book. What is it actually called? It's A Witch's Guide to Magical Inkeeping. And as you can see, like it has a similar cover. I feel like it has a similar sort of vibe. I think she is like the main character is a witch as well. And I'm just wondering like, is it set in the same like fictional world? Like, are we gonna see a cameo from some of the characters from the regular witches? Like, I don't know, but I'm so excited for this new release that it makes me want to revisit regular witches but this book is just like I feel like everything I could ever want it's like a cozy fantasy with a little bit of a romance we have the grumpy sunshine dynamic there's also found family and it's just like those are all of my favorite things I just love it so much and it just is one of those books that like every time I see the cover or see somebody else talking about it it just makes me so happy so I would love to reread this I think it'd be fun to reread in the fall and then also read the new book as well but yeah definitely want to revisit this one. I'm starting to realize I do have a lot of series on this list. I know those last couple weren't series, but I don't know who I think I am having this amount of time to reread all of these books, but we're adding another series to the list, but this time it's only a duology. So this seems a little bit more doable and that's the We Hunt the Flame duology by Hafsa Faisal. I read this series or this duology, again, don't know, 2021, 2022, don't know, doesn't matter, read it, loved it, I think about it all the time. I love these characters so much. I feel like this is the type of duology where if you don't connect with the characters, I don't know if you'll love it, but I really did. I loved these characters. Another series that kind of has a found family trope and I just love it. I think about these characters all the time. So I would really love to be back with them. And I also think that A Tempest of Tea, which is Hafsa Faisal's newest book, is set in the same world. And that makes me very excited to read that one. But yeah, I would just love to be back with these characters. And also like, the plot of this like no more people need to read this like I know it's popular but at the same time it is not popular enough <laughs> especially because like fantasy romance and like enemies to lovers they are so popular right now and just popular in general so why aren't we reading this book people I need more people to read it especially because we have Zafira who's going like on this quest to find this artifact to like save her people but then we have Nazir who is going after this artifact as well and has also been tasked to kill Safira. And it's, so it's like true enemies to lovers. It's so good. Just everyone read it. Thank you so much. I need to reread it. I just feel like I haven't yelled about this duology in a while. So I'm like, this is reminding me to yell at you all to pick this up. Thank you so much. Okay, the next book that I want to reread is another one that I spent so much time talking about that you probably were all sick of me talking about it. Um, the year I read it back in 2022 was my favorite book of the year and I didn't really shut up about it, but I feel like since then, it's been a minute since I've discussed it. So we're gonna talk about it again because I want to revisit it. And that's all my rage by Sava to hear. Such a good, powerful book that more people need to read. I know it's very popular. I know it's been awarded so many things, which I think is so great and important. And it makes me so happy for Saba Tear because this book is incredible and deserving of all of the praise that it gets. But at the same time, I feel like this book, like I just feel like I didn't see that many people reading it like I feel like yes it was awarded all of these things so people were reading it and it was being talked about a lot in that aspect but I feel like in the book community online I just wasn't seeing as many people reading it and talking about it and it's so good so you all need to read this thank you so much I need to reread it I'm really again not emotionally prepared to revisit this one because it is such an emotional read but I loved it so much and I just I would love to revisit it next up I have another series I'd like to reread and that is the A Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab and yes this is the second book in the series my first book the copy of the first book that I have is currently with my sister I let her borrow it like I don't know, two or three years ago now at this point, and she still hasn't read it. So she still has it. I think she mentioned actually picking it up soon. So that's very exciting. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I would really like to revisit this series, not only because I enjoyed it the first time I read it and loved the characters and everything and loved the world and the magic system, but I also want to revisit this because I don't really remember a whole lot about the series. And there's now the 
kind of sequel companion series that she's starting to release set in this world. And I want to read it. I want to read The Fragile Threads of Power, but I feel like I need to revisit this before I get into that one. I'm sure if I just picked up The Fragile Threads of Power, a lot of the, the world and the events that happened in this series, like I'm sure everything would kind of come back to me, but I don't know. I just want to get the most out of it and reread this series first. So yeah, I think it'd be fun to revisit this before getting into The Fragile Threads of Power, just so everything is like fresh in my head. I remember everything, especially because like I've waited so long for The Fragile Threads of Power, like that whole series, because when I read this series for the first time, V.E. Schwab was already talking about this companion sequel trilogy, and I was so excited for it back then. And now five years later, we're finally getting those books and I'm not reading them. So I need to make sure I get the most out of the sequel trilogy that I was so excited for five years ago and reread this series first. Um, I just think that that will be like the best experience for me. So yeah, rereading this trilogy and then hopefully eventually reading The Fragile Threads of Power for the first time. So now the final few books that I want to mention are kind of a similar thing to the Dark Shade of Magic series. I want to reread these first books in the series because I've read them already, but I want to continue on with the series and I feel like I need to reread them before continuing on. So the first one I really don't have to reread to continue the series because they're all kind of companion books but I just want to reread it and that's The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. This is the first book in the Girl Meets Duke series I believe and this was one of my favorite books of the year when I read it a couple years ago. I loved this so much. This was like me starting to dip my toes a little bit into the historical romance genre and I just love this book so much and each book in the series is following a different character, different characters, different couples, but we meet all of the like main female leads in the rest of the series in this first book because the main character in The Duchess Steel, Emma, she becomes friends with three other ladies and these three other girls are the like main characters for the next few books in the series. So I think it would just be fun to get familiar with those characters again before going into their books. And even though we don't have the fourth book in the series yet, this fourth book keeps being pushed off. It originally said that it was going to be coming out, I think in 2021. And then it got pushed to 2024. And I actually remembered that when I was preparing for this video. So I went to look and see when the release date for the fourth book was going to be because I've assumed it had changed again. And it had because now it's saying it's going to be published in 2026. Will we ever get the fourth book in this series? I don't know. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will reread The Duchess Deal and then continue on with the second and third books. And I just, I don't know, I think it'll be fun to revisit this first book and get re-familiar with those characters before getting their own books. Definitely not a necessary reread to continue on with the series. I just want to. So I think it'll be a fun time. Another book that I want to reread before continuing on with the series, that I actually think it will be more important for me to reread this one, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I read Throne of Glass, this first book in the series, and I didn't really love it. I think I gave it like two stars, which I know, I know, how dare I, because everyone loves this series and I want to know why. So that is why I want to reread this one, see if I feel differently, but then also just continuing on with the series is something I would really like to do. I know I just said I'm not the biggest Sarah Janet stan, and I'm still not because Sarah J Mass as a person you know, it's, it's questionable. Um, but I already own the second book in the series. So I feel like because I have it, I need to at least continue on and try to see what all the fuss is about, see if I enjoy it. The unfortunate thing is, as, as you can see, I have the original covers. And now you cannot find these covers anywhere unless you want to pay like $50 for a paperback. No, I'm not doing that. I refuse. So I may end up buying mismatched copies. My like the rest of the series, the covers may be different. Or if I can find the original covers for a good deal. I don't know. I'm very upset about it. <laughs> or I will just read them through my library. But the unfortunate thing with that is that there are very long wait times for the books in the series through Libby. I placed a hold on the Assassin's Blade. Yeah, the like prequel novella short story collection and it's still saying like several months for me to have to wait and I placed that hold like a month ago so will I ever get to actually reading this series who knows because I have to wait forever for these books to come in through Libby but that's okay I do want to attempt 
to read this series and see why everyone loves it so much. And because this series is so popular, because it's Sarah J Mass, I kind of want to do vlogs or a vlog where I read the series for the first time and kind of document all my thoughts. I just think it'd be really fun, but at the same time, do I want to talk about Sarah J Mass that much on my channel and give her that much attention? Not really. So um, let me know if you'd want to see that because I'll do it if people want to see those vlogs of me experiencing this series for the first time. Cause I know I love watching vlogs like that, like videos where people read series for the first time, especially series that I love. So let me know if you want to see that, but at the same time, morally i'm just gonna have to decide if i want to do that <laughs> but yeah i would definitely like to reread throne of glass give it another chance and then potentially continue on with the series just to see what all the fuss is about see if i like it as much as everybody else does because a lot of people say this is her best series so i'm curious about it and then the final book that i want to try and reread before continuing on with the series is every harder doorway by sean and mcguire so this is a book i read a few years ago and i did really enjoy it so i don't know why i never continued on with the series because i did like this first book and they're also very short so it would be very easy for me to read these books and then get caught up on the series if i enjoyed it but I don't know I'm just really good at starting series and not finishing them <laughs> but this series like the whole concept and idea of this series is just so cool to me because we have the first book Every Heart of Doorway that is set at the school for wayward children or something Eleanor West's home for wayward children that's what it is and these children are all kids who have gone through these different magical doorways and have escaped to their own magical worlds and have now returned to the real world and can't go back to those worlds they escaped to and are now having to learn how to adjust to being back in the real world so we have these kids that stay at this home from when they return from these worlds and they're adjusting and that's like every other book in the series but then the books in between are like set in these magical worlds and you see the characters and the kids that you see at this home you see them go through those doorways and you see their stories and you see what worlds they went to and it just seems like such an interesting concept for a series and the people who love this series the way that they talk about it makes me want to read them and makes me want to love them so I definitely would like to continue on with this series this is a series I really wasn't planning on continuing on with but every time I see people talk about this series and how much they love it it makes me want to go back and actually try rereading this first book and then continuing on with the rest of the series. I have the first like three or four books on my Kindle so I might as well give them a read and try them out and see if it's for me. I did like this first book so I don't know why I never continued on but I want to reread this first book, get familiar again with all of the characters and all of the different kids before I get their books later on in the series and I just think it'll be a fun thing to revisit and then continue on with the rest of the series but yeah we'll see if that ends up happening because that also means I have to continue a series which I'm not really good at doing <laughs> but that is it those are all of the books I really want to give a reread and revisit them and see you know if I feel differently or just like be back with characters that I love and or just like continue on with the series that I've started I I definitely have a lot more books that I would love to revisit and reread but these are the ones I feel like are the ones that are calling to me right now these are the ones that are like the highest priority ones that I would really like to get to in the like next year or so definitely don't think that they're all going to be reread within a year because I just listed a lot of books so you know that's like half of my reading goal right here so I just don't think that's possible but I would like to reread all of these within the next like couple of years I I would like to get to them soon so definitely let me know in the comments below are you a rereader do you like revisiting books also any of the books that I'm planning to reread to continue on with their series definitely let me know if it's worth it if I should continue on with those series also let me know if you want to reread any of these books as well maybe we could plan a little buddy read moment I was even thinking with the release of Air by Saba Tahir it could be fun to maybe host a little Ember in the Ashes read-along moment but I don't know. I don't want to promise anything more. So I'm just throwing that out there, I'm giving you a little taste, a little teaser of an idea that I've been thinking about and mainly just like, let me know if you'd be interested in partaking in that with me. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I always have so many ideas for read alongs and book clubs, but then the idea of like hosting these things and having to do live shows, I find very intimidating. So let me know if you'd want to participate in that type of thing. Cause I would, I would maybe consider it if people would 
participate because that's another fear. No one's going to participate with me. <laughs> but regardless of if I do a read along or not for that series, just any of these books, if you'd like to reread them with me, we could have a little buddy read moment. Definitely let me know down below. But I think that that is going to be it for this little TBR of books I'd like to reread. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.